It has been a while since I've worked on the Image Orthicon camera, the old ex-military unit, and it's been held up for one of the silliest reasons. I'm going to power it with the power supply for my iconoscope camera, but in the meantime I need to make the power cable for the camera and it's been held up all for the lack of one of these. An octal plug to plug into the power supply. I just purchased three on eBay and soon I will return to testing of this camera and resume the restoration but it's it is very far from complete. This camera has a lot of problems. I expect to be replacing most of the potentiometers and that is going to be difficult to locate those parts and they're very expensive. The second project I've been working on for a while is the Westgrove VKR 500 home video tape recorder which sold as a kit in 1964. This is an extremely rare videotape recorder. I was considering restoring it to operational status, but after speaking with a couple of people who have experience with these machines, they recommend against it as they barely worked at their best and it would be a huge investment in time and money to uh, get this running. Now if somebody else is interested in getting it running that's fine. Talk to me. Make a realistic offer to purchase the machine and you'll get everything you see here. This is a complete machine just as it would have been in 1964. I've uh, purchased a couple of reels, uh, take up reel and a couple of rolls of tape so that the machine can be displayed as a historical artifact and I have located the original video recording head and it's currently sitting there awaiting a screw to uh, attach it to the baseboard I don't have the spec for the screw but you can see it with the copper strap and the resistor that heats the head because they found the tape flowed over it more smoothly if the head was hot. So there is the VKR 500 home video tape recorder circa 1964. Yet another project I have in the queue is the Marsan Pixie Cam. This camera was made in 1960 exceptionally rare. They were sold as surplus in the 1970s by Denson Electronics and if I'm reading between the lines of the documentation correctly it's quite possible that Al Denson of Denson Electronics designed this camera. It uses a 2 inch electrostatic deflection Viticon tube which he called the PixieCon. Extremely rare tube and uh, extremely clever. His goal was to make a camera that was cheaper than conventional Viticon camera at the time and in the end his camera cost exactly the same as the competing products from other manufacturers. And so these were sold in as whole units and pieces on his, webs on his website, yes, through his uh, mail flyers in the 1970s. We used to get get our internet in the mailbox back in the good old days. I'd ride my dinosaur down there to check the mail. So Al Denson sold these and this may, could very well be one of the very last existing units. This is the Pixicon tube from the camera. You can see inside where the deflection plates are to deflect the electron beam. This tube uses an extremely low voltage electron gun. It operates at 300 volts and it has the anode 2 accelerator here and this electrode is a collimator. 
to cause the electron beam to come through here and as it deflects it comes up if it hit the target directly it would make an oval spot so as it, it deflects here this electrode now bends the beam straight again so that it lands square to the target and makes a round spot you could call this the corner focus electrode and the regular electrostatic focus electrode this middle ring here inside the middle vertical line you see uh, is the center focus and that is a two-inch Pixicon tube and quite likely the only one in existence today in 2016. And finally, this is my latest acquisition. This is an RCA 2F21 Indian Head Test Pattern Monoscope Tube. Most definitely a project in its future. I've checked and the heater is good. I got this beauty on eBay for $120. But when I received it, there's only one little disturbing thing. Can you hear it? There are several small bits rattling around inside. So this tube probably got thumped very well at some point in its life and uh, may or may not operate but the good news is it has a brother called the 1699 same tube different test pattern in fact the test pattern was custom and various television stations would have a tube made for their operation and it goes into the I believe it's a TK1 or TC1 monoscope camera chassis and it is a complete video test signal generator. This is a camera tube with a fixed image.